you go. What in the world? And then, no, one person did let her on his platform. Did we forget? Did we forget? Because T. Nathan did. She already filed a report with NCIS. Okay, she's waiting to get her interview. For them to set up her interview. That's what we're waiting on. You don't tell victims what to do. You should, I mean, you got to learn that. That's kind of disrespectful. We already filed with... Go ahead. <laughs> like, you can't... I don't get people. I don't know. Cap is still trying that illegal recording crap. I don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> Am I back? Yeah, you good, sis. Go ahead, keep going. Okay. All right. I didn't go live. I didn't really have anything too much to address. Let me try for and in the middle of this fucking web, you can't get on my platform. You mess. You talk to these people on the phone for weeks, and none of this come about until they tell you they're not fucking with you. Closet Talk said, get your ass out of my movement. You messy, bitch. I Speak said, you can't get on my platform. You messy, bitch. Cuban rescinded her support. You messy bitch. All three of them, sexual assault allegations, with Cuban being an, an allegation that she vehemently denied, saying that I speak sexually assaulted Cuban. Now, she had been floating this for a long time, at least around to the beginning when Cuban started to pull back from her. This woman is a perpetual, habitual fucking liar. And the truth ain't in her. And then she teams up with another perpetual, habitual fucking liar that have attacked people, families, people, their businesses, their jobs, their everything. She teams up with another habitual liar and they spin this web of lies and deceit and in the middle of this fucking web or true survivors that either never seen justice or never seen something where they are bitter as fuck evil as fuck cantankerous as fuck and attack 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 and this is the downfall the pitfalls of social media and this shows a shining example of why social media should have its own federal law enforcement agency. Think about it. The only way for this to ever be cleared up is for that bald head bitch to walk her fucking ass into somebody's police department and cooperate all the way through with some type of investigation. The NCIS people traveled how many hundreds of miles to meet with her and she wouldn't give the interview or sign or attest to anything because she knows she's fucking lying and she know that during discovery the defense attorneys for both closet talk and I speak which NCIS have no fucking jurisdiction over closet talk none whatsoever because closet talk is a fucking civilian but she know during discovery all known phone numbers will be turned over. All known connected social media will be turned over. She know that she plotted this. Once they can prove that she plotted this, she will be looking at so many years in fucking jail. There is no fucking way 
This is day two. And I'm going to do this every day. There's no fucking way that woman will ever fucking file any type of law enforcement report. Will ever go through with it. She will never put her signature down on anything. Think back when she turned in that Crime Stoppers tip. Everybody else's name was in there and that was an anonymous fucking tip, right? But hers. She will never go to law enforcement. Right. Because she knows the uh-huh. in the messages, texts, DMs, etc. is her and 4K plotting on all three of those people. And every survivor over there should be fucking offended. Should there be a federal agency for social media? Because social media spans the fucking world. It spans all of the United States. Continental, and intercontinental. There should the be one agency that create and or maintain laws to prevent shit like this from happening. Think about it. This woman could go the next 20 fucking years accusing these people of this atrocious act. Essentially putting their life on hold if they allow it. You got a bald head bitch over there, another one hashtagging people names and shit, attaching them to this. That's not it. Part two. And it. God damn, she talked a lot. Could there be a federal agency for social media? Because social media spans the fucking world. It spans all of the United States. I Continental. Of this atrocious act, essentially putting their life on hold if they allow it. You got a bald head bitch over there, another one hashtagging people names and shit, attaching them to this shit. Upon background investigation, that type of shit would be found. They can never clear their name unless she go her ass and file a fucking report somewhere. She hasn't done it. It's been three years. Think about it. What the fuck would you do if somebody woke up every day, got on social media, went live and accused you of sexual assault every single day and used no resources whatsoever to bring you to justice? When asked about that, it went from, I don't call the police on black people to I went to NCIS to they refuse to get justice for the victim to now I have a congressional investigation to now I have an investigation at Quantico. She's literally bothered those people so much they banned her ass from ever going to that fucking island and using any of the services on that island. They banned her. What would you do? Three years these people have been living under this fucking stress and duress. And everybody that's ever stood up for them, that group of people have attacked, doxed, attacked their families, did all this other shit, right? While she sit up here and blame these two people and one person by proxy of sexual assault. What would you do? If you sue her, she's broke. She has no money and her credit is fucking in the trash. What are you going to get? The other one, running around, sleeping wherever with whoever, sneaking bitches in his goddamn house. I call that lady a bitch. But sneaking women in his fucking house. That trap house. Getting busted out all over the fucking internet. And then what he say? My wife cursed her out. Both of you bitches are slow. You and the wife. This is day two. After three years, she still haven't filed that fucking police report. What the fuck do they keep saying three years? <laughs> you know my aunt. <sighs> yeah, I I'm guess trying to understand why in the good. freaking world do they keep all of them keep saying three years? So, um, three years. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. Oh, like they oh, are. Man. She is mad, sis. Like I didn't even. I told her. I told you they mad. They they mad as fuck at me. I made too much goddamn sense. Like like I said, ain't no way you can look at that fucking live with with I speak and say that I speak ate 
when it came to anybody that came into his life. So the fact that y'all keep telling y'all self this and you know it's not true, it just it's pissing them off. Because they can say it all they want to. But anybody right. looking at that live, this is why, this is why um, it ain't circulating like everything else, right? How many, how many times y'all done seen this clip? The, the, the only people I've seen really, really posting clips of this, this live where I speak is us. I've seen them posting it, but the videos they posting, they don't even make sense. They look stupid. They didn't. Because they know he looks stupid. Mm -hmm. They don't have much material to, to share. Because we all know they're not neutral. We've been new this. We've been new this. So the only clips that they can really share of him is, you know, when he looks the least stupid, I guess. Because he, he literally looks dumb lie. as Which fuck. Exactly. Lie. Throughout that whole fucking life. So they don't really have much to work with. Maybe it's because I don't follow them or or I don't see their shit. But I, I, the only people I've seen like posting real clips of this live with him is people that are not in support of him. Have you noticed? Um, and Patrick and that um, whole gang over there. I speak. You ain't at one point six no more. That number went south. Right. Did you peep that? Ain't at that one point six no more. Look like you you in the you going down the same path as Patrick. Mm mm mm. And then Kappa gonna say you had conversation. Like first of all, Kappa, did you forget that Cuban was still support? Like months after I came out with my story, like even though wow. she wasn't as vocal, she was still in that comment section being very supportive. Right, pull my finger. Behind the scenes, she was, you know, mm -hmm. being supportive too. So which didn't make that no little theory that, that you came up with that everybody cut me off before I even came out with my story. That's why I came out with my story is bullshit. I had one conversation with uh, Closet Talk and I had one conversation with Ice Speak. One. So every piece of audio y'all put out, you know, damn well is coming from one phone call. Not months or weeks worth of phone calls. One. One. Keep putting it out. I can't <clears throat> wait till we uh get it from the beginning to the end. Cause we know for sure you have it now, Mo. And you, it right. wasn't even a question before. But dig this nope. though, right, sis? Not you, for me. It wasn't a question for me. And I know that. Go remember ahead, bro. when Tanya made that video of you know, the pieces of audio that she said, uh -huh. well, where's the rest of it, Mo? And I'm trying to figure out where is it? Oh, she said it wasn't no more. Yeah. Mo said it wasn't no more. Yeah, but that I'm was trying to figure out Tanya saying that, right? Because obviously you were right, Tanya. So you right. do you still think this woman is lying? After hearing I uh -huh. speaks live. You still trying to tell me police is lying? I'm trying to figure it out. That's what I'm, I'm just, I mean, y'all supposed to be truth seekers. Right. I mean, the truth smack you right there in the face. I, I'm just trying to figure it out. Yeah, what happened to the whole notion that Mo was going to expose Cuban for being white? I thought that's why all of this shit happened, right? And, oh, yeah, let me tell Cuban this. Cuban, you know where I got the whole Black Panther thing from? About you not being a Black Panther? From Mo. Tell, hey, Mo, won't you release that audio you've been talking about you going to release of that woman that said uh, she wasn't, uh, that Cuban wasn't no Black Panther that you keep holding on to? Won't you play that? 
And that woman damn sure said that. She damn sure said she had never sent Cuban the contract. So Cuban was technically not a Black Panther because she had never given her a contract. At all. <clears throat> Boy. Sis. I'm glad you've seen them fools for who they were. Seriously. Every last one. I mean, you know, I mean, first of all, if I if I just don't mesh with the energy, I just don't mesh with the energy. And if I feel like my, my you know, my boundaries are being fucked with, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in the moment, my, my first reaction is to just get the fuck up out of there. But like I said, I tried to have a conversation with these people, but y'all let me know that y'all are dangerous people to be around. So, of course, in the beginning, you know, they tried to manipulate. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't know. Like, listen to how I'm all talking about this, fucking, this call. Just about every audio you get, she is literally gaslighting the whole fucking time. Every audio she puts out. Like you're trying to steer the narrative. I'm trying to tell you something and you keep trying to steer the narrative to what you want to talk about. Trying to get me to say what you want me to say. Oh, I, I was being overbearing. I was I was being too mean. I, you can tell she was gaslighting a lot. Right. Trying to, I didn't mean to. Whatever. That's the same thing I speak did. So for y'all to be that, you know, fake that type of sympathy or empathy on the phone and then get on this motherfucking app and do this for the past two years. I don't care what you say. Y'all are dangerous. Because like I said, I'll never forget. I will never forget the look in Mo's eyes when she said, you going to give me that bitch. I never forget that. That shit did something to me. The look I speak had in his eyes did something to me. This, I mean, it felt like a trap. And back then, me not knowing all the ins and the outs, I didn't know why it felt so fucked up. Now that I look back on it, I'm like, I believe this is shit that y'all do every time y'all meet up with people. Y'all meet up under these false pretenses of going to protest, of, you know, working for the betterment of humanity, and you try to get people hemmed up. That is, that I, I, I don't, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Those people are fucking predators. I've been saying it from jump, and I will continue to say it forever. And they keep proving And Kappa, it. you just like them. And keep on proving it over and over again. Because I'm a, a thousand percent sure Captain and listening to all four hours of that conversation that you had and know exactly what was said in that conversation. Yep. Because if you ain't listened to that whole four hour conversation yet, Captain, and you listening to Mo, you just as dumb as she is. Oh, I guarantee you Mo has listened to it on repeat. Mo listens to it on repeat so that she can go through and see what she can use at whatever time she can use it, right? That's how she's been able to, to sort of control this narrative. You put out bits and pieces of audio and you spin whatever narrative you, you want to on it. But why don't you just play the whole audio so everybody can get the full context of the whole conversation. Not bits and pieces you put out and then try to explain away. Like that's manipulating as fuck. But I'm saying if so that's what she's doing. She's sitting, up, she's sitting up listening to these audios endlessly trying to figure out which piece she can use. What she can use to, to spin a fucking narrative. But dig this. What does that audio prove? Only one thing that is more audio because you said nothing in that audio that disproves anything that you said because you keep repeating the same thing about the damn protest, the same story right. over and over and over again. 
Right. I said it. I've already said the reason me and Mo got into it is because I felt like I speak was doing exactly. And even in that audio, I say, you know, I, I, I kept my peace. I didn't cuss out people when I wanted to. Who the fuck y'all think I was talking about? I speak in T Nathan. How the fuck are we supposed to be, you know, come and I didn't want them a part of the fucking movement in the first place. Because when we first reached out to these sorry ass niggas, they ignored us. I know when I first reached out, when I first got on this app, I reached out to a lot of people that I thought were in the, the movement to to for the betterment of humanity. And I saw the way black women were treated. Modern Warrior was another one of them. Fucking ignore me. I know he was reading my comments. Fucking ignore me when I'm talking to them about black women. So when they decided to just jump on the fucking the, the, the bandwagon with the protest all of a sudden because it was getting some traction, I was like, man, fuck. Niggas. Y'all give me a second. Y'all give me a second. Right here. Yeah, you going back in the house. No, yes. I'm already wrong. I can't even. I don't even know how to. Like my screen is black, so I can't even mute right now, y'all. I'm sorry. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's saying that I can't even mute you because you need the update version. Right. It's my, my tablet. It's like too much shit on my tablet. So. Like I can't, that's why I said I can't, my screen is black. So that's why I don't go live on my tablet much, but it was just easier to play it. Um, but ahead, I'm going to drop down and come back in on my phone. No, yeah, I'm going to drop down and come back in on my phone. So drop me down and I'm going to come All back right. in on my phone. All right. Because I just needed to play the audio. Got you. Oh, you went to her live today? <laughs> yeah. Just, I really wish they just come out and say they've been working with each other at this point. Something else police have been saying. They've been working together. <laughs> know what, Paul? Oh, that's what they're talking about, the protest tractor? She's doing another auction? Oh, my God. They are all a mess. Whew. At this point, y'all, I don't even know why they keep trying. Like, I really, at this point, they just need yes, to log you off. You know why? They need you know to just why. log off. They can't. They can't afford to. Here's the thing. You already said this to yourself. They can't. These motherfuckers got contracts. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. These motherfuckers mm. got contracts or they got dealings that they cannot just walk away from. That's why they've been protecting each other. They got shit that they can't just walk away from. You know, from the look on Patrick's face, Patrick don't want to be here the majority of the time for real. But you know he have to. He ain't got no choice. Mm, 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 mm. This is a multi-billion dollar business. They ain't got no choice. Right side by like a cyclone. Couldn't be me though. They didn't sold their souls. That for what? That's why I said there's a difference in, you know, having a love for the craft and being in the craft for fame. 
And a lot of these motherfuckers are actors that wanted fame. They want fame. Matter of fact, most people on social media nowadays, most people getting in the entertainment industry nowadays, mm-hmm. it's not about the art. The, the, the industry, the art industry is not about the art. It's about the business. The fame. So they all want it. And then they're going to take a little piece they can get. <sighs> they can have that fame. I don't need that. I'm good. Yeah, they're reporting. reporting. Like crazy. Mm-hmm. What are y'all so mad about? I thought y'all well, like right. I know y'all are mad at me because, and I mean, I I I invite Mo. You want to do what I speak did? Let's talk about it because I really want to talk about this new audio. Where did it come from? Mo would crumble. Let's do a sit down, Mo. Mm. Let's talk about it. Woman to woman. Mm. She ain't ready for that. Neither is her friends. I speak wasn't ready. That's why he dropped me. I speak was not ready. That's why he dropped me. Because he know that nothing he said made dropped sense to anybody box. with sense. He dropped everybody the box. That's an L. I don't care which way you call it. That's a L. Straight up. You on one tonight? Anyway, what else is going on? (laughs) Oh, oh, man. Honestly, I'm still getting over the I speak gloss that he took with that fucking live. Like I, everything else don't even mean anything else. Been coming with receipts. Oh, we had all the only one. And uh, that nigga didn't let us get through shit. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm tired of this conversation. I'm gonna, I'm just drop you, bro. What? He sounded like a child when he did it too. I'm going to take my basketball and go home. Like, bro, go sit down somewhere, man. (laughs) My man was in his feelings. I mean, you take that many L's in a row, you would be too. Right. This was your idea. You invited all these people to your life, and all these people made you look stupid. Mm -mm -mm. Matter of fact, I think they all. I think they all took that that to heart. They live. <clears throat> they all took that one to heart. They all took that L together. I speak both to be their fearless leader, and he got made to look like a fool. Anybody with half a brain that watched that live know that man lying out. Right, right. Everybody like a psycho. Everybody came with receipts. Except for him. He, that motherfucking believe me, bro shit. Y'all real quiet in here. It's 113 people in here. Come on now. What y'all doing? Report. <laughs> yeah, that was a yeah. Boy, that was a massive L for them. And they they literally trying anything now. Hey, by my lonely, how you doing? I didn't even know you was in here. At work. Uh, hi, hi. Go for you. Oh, that old graveyard shift. Oof. Hey, everybody coming here. I know when I came into your lab earlier, oh my God, so many people were reporting. Uh, it was like 300 hey, people in there. Did you get to report- see Path's drawing? Huh? Did you get to see Path's drawing of you? No, I didn't see it. She said she was going to come okay. up and show it. Okay.
Like, the patience that it has taken to get this far, sis, like, I'm just, I'm proud of all of y'all. Like, seriously, y'all be, y'all really did the damn thing with this. You pull, so. Thank you. Because, like, the way y'all set this up with the exception of uh, Tanya, because I will give Tanya credit where credit is due. But the way this thing came together, the way it did, and the way it's going, I, I already know which way it's going to go. It feels like I could see the the light at the end of the tunnel at this point. Who are we getting there? We are getting there. Anybody seen Derek? What happened to Derek? I really would like to hear Derek's point of view. Didn't he take? I know he took down the Patrick video. Did he take down the I speak uh, documentary too? I can't hear you. You was breaking up. Of course you don't. They report Lisa. They reporting you too. You breaking up like crazy. I can't hear you at all. Well, they stay on my page. You know what I'm saying? They stay reporting. Then I don't even make videos so, about them. Huh? Yeah, definitely. You you de you definitely on red bar. So, <clears throat> her blam had uninvited panda to the uh, yep. blammies. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, why? He should fit right in with the rest of y'all predators. Right. What's the problem? You letting Ospie go? You letting Patrick go? Right. Right. Like what? What is the difference? What's the difference? There isn't a difference. They're all predators and child abusers. Well, the difference is, is for some reason they just don't like Panda. Yep. Right. Like y'all just decide to out. Like he, he seemed like he was the one on the chopping block. You know, somebody to drum up a story about. Right, that's why I say he's disposable, obviously. They act like I ain't tell y'all that man was a whole dork last year. That's the same dude that was talking all that nonsense, all that talk, that heavy talk at the blammies yesterday, I mean, uh, last year. Bro, you can't make this stuff up. Yes, you can. If you're a Hollywood director, you can. <laughs> yes, and they the keep talking can. about he got all these charges. I ain't seen no charges. Did anybody post them? Did they just saying this? I ain't seen nothing. Y'all just talking about it. And uh, yeah, you heard Bishop was trying to take up for him? Yep. Nothing but predators, man. Uh -huh. All connected. Because him right. and Bishop used to meet up and hang out. <clears throat> mm. Seen that more than a couple times. They did creepy Would things together like T-Nate and I speak. Huh? I said, I wonder if they did creepy things together like T-Nate and I speak. Oh, count me out. <laughs> I remember that. Okay, remember? Yeah, remember, remember when Teenage Nathan said he always thought shit. maybe when we were, you know, doing something together, doing something like what, nigga? Like what? Like, like what? what? Because y'all have been doing together that made you want to call him a creep. I just, what? I really still to this day want to know what, how that conversation went. <laughs> what the fuck was that, well, Teenage? Right. Really I know he effed, I know he thought to himself, he effed up when he right. said that out. Like, why the fuck did I say that stupid shit? 
<laughs> and my thing is the that's what I was saying earlier about Kappa, right? She had literally said that no after the protest, nobody wanted to F with you. But remember, T Nathan is the one that let you on his platform. What well, no, y'all went dual live. No, he, he was, yeah, he came over to my he requested to come over to my live. Right? Yeah. So he was obviously T Nathan was still supporting me. You. I speak was in the You're live still... supporting me. So Cuban, you... The only person that I fell out with at that time was Mo. Because I didn't even know the rest of them to fall out with them. I mean, I ain't never hear him apologize. Nope. You see, baby, I ain't hear him apologize for that at all. T Nathan just took that on the chin. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I speak took it on you the chin too. Up, he knew that I, he knew that T Nathan had told me he wanted to kill him. He knew exactly what that meant. I'm um, put him in a chestnut box. We know what the fuck that means. Mm-hmm. I speak doesn't give a fuck. I speak doesn't give a fuck that that Cuban accused him of SA, right? He don't give a fuck that Eddie Brock and Cuban now say that they concocted this lie together. To catch Which me in a lie, so he don't he don't care he doesn't care about anybody using false allegations against him, except really? for me. Ironically, whose allegations aren't false. And like and, and like he said, he knew uh, Eddie Brock. He said Eddie Brock is the one that came up and concocted that story. And brought his name into it, but he had no problem with it. None. Imagine that. Like you said, you be orchestrating all this nonsense behind the scenes, man. Seriously, I don't even know how y'all how y'all do it to yourself. I want to do it to yourself. It's just like you said. Maybe they they cannot walk away, sis. No. They really can't. It's an addiction. It's like knowing crack is bad for you, but you can't stop smoking it. Like, for real. It's like knowing you're an alcoholic, but you can't stop drinking. What in- Where's the twins and I, and I creep up? I haven't seen them in here. Where? Um, I do believe they were in my live earlier. Oh, because I was like, I, I saw Apple earlier. I didn't see Eye Creep earlier. Hey, Carol. Look, I barely be reading the comments. Oh, Alpha Sticks. I me too. I'm looking and I'm like, what's going on in the comment section? What's up, Apple? Can't be doing too much. I know that's right. My man, yo. Solo, what's good? All right, so we've been at 347 shares for a good minute now, and it's 116 people in here. Let's let's get uh, let's get it together. Oh Jesus. Hey Karma Wax. Hey Apple Fix. <sighs> Dude, I haven't seen Camel Camel Wax since the last live. That that was it. She don't be on here that much. <sighs> Man. That's what's up, Epstein. We su- we appreciate the support, all of it, all the everybody. Look. So you know when you didn't go live, Polisa. 
I ended up going over to Alive. And I was there and I was told some things um, about, you know, Safi talking about me, but I didn't care about it. So I left it alone. So, you know, I left it alone and I'm like chilling and then I keep getting shared this live. So I'm like, who's sharing this live to me? Like even even screen recorder pages started sharing the live with me, people who screen record. So I'm like, okay, something's going on. So I go over there. Safi's in the box. People talking about, I brought up Safi's kids and stuff. And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? I'm just like, yo, y'all just want problems. So I don't, look, I didn't even go up there angry. I accepted the invite and I just was there. And I was like, what's going on? What are y'all talking about? I was in that live, but that we weren't talking about none of that. So what, what's going on? Next thing you know, she started going off on me. I'm like, what in the world's going on? So then I'm like, okay, since you want to go there. So then they drop Safi from Ducks and they drop me. And so I'm like, okay. So I was like, then next thing you know, they invite Granny up there. Then Granny's going off on them. So then I was like, you know what? So then Granny goes live and I go up to Granny's live and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And people want to stir drama and create drama with me. But if you want drama, Safi, I'm going to give you what you're asking for. Because for me, when I log off this app, I don't have to think about it no more. Because that's what I'm going to do after I'm done. <clears throat> and I went in. You know, I went all the way in. All the way in. So when did you ever talk about Safi's kids? Thank you. That That's the point. Never did. But you know, on this app, that's what people need to fail to realize is that People run around and they mention people talking about their kids just to get people on their side on a bandwagon to team up and talk about people. Well, guess what? If that's what you want to do, I'm going to give you what you ask for every time. Because you're going to keep lying on me and stop lying on me. That's what you're going to do. So I'm going to give you something. Because they have nothing without those lies. That's their narratives. They push those Mm -hmm. lies out there so they can have something to talk about. Yep. That's why I said, so, like, I done picked up on your 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 little cycle, I speak. At mm-hmm. this point, you ain't nobody without me. Like, let's just keep that, just let's put that out there. And closet talk, you ain't either. That's why you really don't have like you 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 really running around this app lost as fuck for real. That's why everybody else is fighting your battles for you because you really have no place here. Exactly. Body of a cyclone. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just like, you know, y'all, you keep using these people. I'm going to say this right again. The fold recruits people who lack the mental capacity to have discernment and they take advantage of them. Safi is no different. I think I speak them have something to do with Safi even coming up with this story. Agreed. Remember, they orchestrated Did it all. Did you see Safi video the other night? <laughs> nope, don't even watch her content. What was it? Exactly. It just came across my FYP. She made a whole little, little video, you know, thanking I speak for not exploiting her children when that's exactly what the fuck he did. <laughs> oh. I told y'all that lady, look, that lady has issues, serious issues. I mean, ugh. when he said we orchestrated, I can't he was talking about with Safi. So Cuban, you There's can go ahead and grab really your real sense. page and come on in. You don't have to come in here on your troll page. Come on in, Cuban. Who? That's Cuban. On what page? Last time I checked, I know I remember that profile picture, but my smile. Hmm. Oh, Last God, time I this... checked, that profile picture was a Cuban page. Denise. And let me not even go there because we never know at the end of the freaking day. You know, oh, Denise be triggering me. So she triggers me. That white woman triggers me. But yeah, I mean, it's just like, you know, I said my piece already. So, you know, 
I'm good on her. She's over there now talking about me with Tanya Duet Queen. And I'm just like, I don't got no, I don't care. I about to say, honestly, I wouldn't <laughs> care. Just like, I don't even care at all what half these motherfuckers talk about. It's not even close. Like I half mean, of them it's, sound it's, like just stupid to me. And then when, you know, I ain't even gonna hold you. Sometimes people just be sounding ridiculous. Like absolutely ridiculous. And it's not even just that side. It just be like random people that be speaking about this shit and act like they know what's going on. They don't know nothing that's going on. And it's funny how these people been around so long and they supposed to know all the, the players and everything like that in this, but they still oblivious. They still play oblivious. It don't make no sense to me. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the gifts. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird when I see people that I know seem like they have the common sense and can, you know, pretty much read between the lines of, and of the bullshit. To see y'all just play like, well, I don't know. Like, no. What the hell are you talking about? Appreciate y'all. Karma Wax and Apple Sticks. Another they man, you know what? Some of y'all have been around so long. Flabby, Nisi Baby, Lista, Paul Solo. Like a lot of great support. Even, even you, Fiery Phoenix. It might be a small group, but they got a lot of heart. City Cat. Like, a lot of y'all have been around a long time. I remember a lot of y'all even from my uh, You Are My Content page. Oh, definitely I Creep. She's been around damn near since the beginning. Body, Amico, Taurus, Nisi. There's been a lot of y'all around. For a long time. Fiery Phoenix. That's my dog. We go way back. Lord, Fiery Phoenix was... I remember I spoke to her when I was in the corner of the screen. Like when people didn't know who the hell I was. <laughs> we met... I think we met in... What year was that? 2016, maybe? <sighs> One of them. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. We met on the movie set. Hey, Solo. Hello. Guys, you guys are family. We got your back. We love you guys. We, just, it, just, just keep, stay focused. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just stay focused. I, I just sit back, like I said, just sit I back and watch. Too. I sit back and watch. You've been here for a minute too, girl. You know, this is what family's about, guys. This is exactly what family's about. Right. Even those of those that haven't been here as long as as some others, like y'all have been down since since the day you came through. So I I fuck I like like I said, we might not be as as large as you know these other groups of people on this fucking app but i'm okay with that because i, feel I like tell you what here, though truly trying to do the right thing so we're gonna be small in numbers until the rest of the world wake up i ain't gonna lie to you since we started a community over here and we not and we may not be larger but we're the stronger community. i bet we are we're stronger, we're than stronger. We think. that's why i said we have way more heart over here than they do over there because at the end of the day, we have our ups and downs, but I think for the most part, the majority of the people over here truly care about one another. That's yeah, right. some of us might get on each other's nerves, and that's okay. We might be aggravated here and there, whatever. That's family. That's family. Exactly. That's family. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. My kids get on my nerves. My husband get on my nerves. So if, if they get on my nerves, what the fuck make you think you won't? 
Then yes. Now, but I will tell you, <clears throat> we're not as small as people think we are, though. But the nucleus, like the the people that are always here, always together, yeah, we pretty tight around here. Very. I appreciate y'all. Even though a lot of us so. don't talk to each other one on one, enough of us talk to enough of us that we can keep up. We keep up with other people by way of other con- like direct connections. You know what I'm saying? Like I can I can check on this person to check on that person by reaching out to this person and say, hey, have you talked to that person? How they doing? You know what I'm saying? Like if I can't reach out to everybody and that's something like I said, I'm not new to that. I've been doing this for years, like since I started activism in the first place, I've been of service to my community. So I've always had a lot of people, you know, call on me, have my number, you know what I'm saying? And and be there for them and and create these networks of people that we can help take care of each other. These communities of people where we help take care of one another. Like, like even with my dance studio, a lot of these girls help babysit each other's kids. And you know what I'm saying? Like it, we, we just had that foundation. They don't have that over there. What, what ties those people over there are lies, manipulation, um, backstabbing. Like it's just a whole bunch of bullshit that people cannot just walk away from because too many people know your fucking secrets over there. We're pretty transparent over here. I know I am. So I ain't worried about what nobody gonna find in my motherfucking background. But right. That's the way I be feeling. And I will say this. I have enjoyed this. <laughs> I will say this, sis. I have enjoyed this transition and you and learning a lot of things from you and the people that I have met on this whole journey with y'all. And uh Man, I I thank y'all for waking me up to a lot of the bullshit, because I because I was one of these people that was sleepwalking on this app, not paying attention to detail and shit like that. And like I said, a lot of my growth and transition over this whole thing, becoming who I've become over this last year and a half, is a a lot of tribute to a lot of y'all, for real. I appreciate the growth um, that I've gained from these relationships with with all of us over here too. Like the things that I've learned, um, the things that I've gained more understanding about. I appreciate that. Like you know, as much as I thought I knew before I came to TikTok, these two years on TikTok is like eight years and fucking college now you learn a lot on this motherfucker quick because you have so much access to so many different people so many different countries so many different cultures on this app but it also comes with a whole lot of different ass deviancy too factual and once you see it you can't unsee it so again This is why I know that the majority of people in this world are deviant, whether they want to admit it or not, whether it's by um, whether it's purposeful or not. Our mindsets have been nurtured into that. So. Yeah, I can't unsee that shit. That's just what it is. And I mean, to see people that are throwing their lives away, like, honestly, a lot of these people are living in a house of cards, right? And it's all going to fall down. And I had made a video earlier. Uh, remember the video I made earlier of the uh, dude that was talking about uh, the IRS and um, yeah. the 1099s? And I'm just like, I sit back and watch Slim and Patrick. Patrick, I got a feeling, bro, I... I hope to goodness for your sake that you were actually making your estimated tax payments, man. Cause if you miss those payments, bro, and you owe at the end of the year with them 1099s, them penalties and interest going to bury you, man. I 
Uh, let me give you a little secret. The first thing I learned, one of the first things I 